Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to one new video. How are you doing? I know you're happy, healthy and peaceful and doing perfect. Alright. So today also we are going to explore a couple of more places in New Mumbai or Navi Mumbai. As you know, we visited uh, Kargil and Washi last week. And today also we are going to visit a few more places in New Mumbai. And before that I want to tell you, New Mumbai consists of three railway lines. And uh, which are Trans Harbour Line, Harbour Line and uh, Nerul Ural Line. The last one, Nerul Ural Line, uh, development work is still undergoing. So we are not going to visit that place. We are going to visit a couple of places in Harbour Line and uh, Trans Harbour Line. Okay. So Trans Harbour Line consists of nine railway stations starting from Thane and uh, terminates at Washi railway station. So if you want to visit any place in Harbour Line, you will change train from Washi. Uh, we are standing in Thane right now, Thane city, standing next to this beautiful lake. Not like it's a view, huge pond with so many pleasure boards and everything. You can see. So now heading to the Thane railway station and take a train, Washi train, and get down at Washi and uh, change train from there. Okay, so are you ready for that? Stay tuned. It's gonna be so interesting. Okay. Uh, friends, now heading to the station. Before that, I want to show you this huge lake. It's not a lake exactly, it's a pond. Huge pond with so many pleasure boats. You can see it's a beautiful area. It's one of the prominent locality in Thane. And uh, friends, uh, now weather is too hot and muggy, and uh, so typical during this time, October. So I think uh, approximately 40 degree, close to 40 degree Celsius, I suppose. Okay, now heading to the station. Otherwise, well, I want to tell you, Thane is uh, one of the highly polluted cities in Mumbai, with noise and air pollution at the highest level that you can understand very easily. So finally, on this train, heading for Washi. And now, so the train is not uh, crowded that much. Because the time is close to 11.45 am, so it's not a peak hour. Yeah. And first, I finally made to Washi railway station. I'm gonna change the train from here. I'm going to the other side to take a uh, train for uh, Panvel, that is Harbour Line. So, okay. Friends, right now I'm at the Washi railway station. Just came out to get some water. I forgot my water bottle today. So, I'm so thirsty. Both got me here. Pani lena hai padega. Okay. After that, I'll tell you where we are heading to. I go this way, no? Always keep a bottle of water with you during this time. So important. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you where we are heading to today. We are going to heading to Nerul, one of the beautiful and highly developed areas in Navi Mumbai, New Mumbai. So for that, I'll take a train from here, uh, Wachi Station. This uh, Nerul train, I think, uh, suppose. Uh, will be coming on the platform number two. So I'm heading to that place. Okay, stay tuned. That was uh, finally made to the Nerul station. This is Nerul station. First, this is uh, Nerul railway station. Okay, and uh, so today we're going to explore certain places, interesting places in Nero and uh, then after that I'll tell you where we are heading to but first of all Nero, we are going to explore Nero and uh, okay and this is the highway next to bank opposite of this uh, Nero railway station and uh, you can see the roads are well maintained and uh, infrastructure facilities are very good in this area and with full of greeneries of course that is one of the highlights Wherever you go, you get to see green spaces everywhere. Green spaces galore in this area. Uh, that is one of the attractions, of course. And uh, this area is developed by City Industry Development Corporation, CITCO, a government agency, state government agency, dedicated to develop the area in Navi Mumbai, New Mumbai. So, I just want to show you this area. Okay. And uh, now I'm heading to one park. It's a beautiful park. I'll tell you which part. So friends, uh, Nerul is considered one apartheid locality in Navi Mumbai with uh, 
with very good infrastructure and uh, residential areas, parks and green spaces galore. So we are going to explore one popular park here named the uh, uh, Wonders Park. I don't know whether it is an amusement park or something else. Let's go and explore. Okay. Nerul has uh, numerous commercial establishments, uh, including markets, shopping centers, and uh, local businesses. It has very well developed uh, local market and is in close proximity to the central business district CBD of Belapur, which offers a wide range of offices, government institutions, and uh, corporate spaces. As I told you before, Nehru, like many other nodes in Navi Mumbai, was developed uh, by the City and Industry Development Corporation, CITCO. It is the planning and development authority responsible for planning, designing and developing various nodes in Navi Mumbai. They have played a crucial role in the systematic development of the satellite city to alleviate the population pressure on Mumbai and create a well-planned, organized and a sustainable urban environment. You can also see various beautification work at various corners uh, here. And uh, Nerul is a perfect example of uh, how we can maintain our green spaces uh, in tune with the other developments in the city. important thing I want to tell you is that I can clearly understand, I can clearly feel the difference in temperature right now. Whether it is comparatively cooler in this area than any other part of the city. And uh, pollution level also considerably reduced, we saw the greeneries of course. So it is very important, we need to promote green spaces in Mumbai city like Mumbai. That's so very important and uh, now I am heading to the park, okay, stay tuned. See that uh, this is a beautiful place, you can see the hillock with uh, some stretches on the top. And uh, this is the Apollo Hospital, Nerul. Apollo Hospital is one of the popular hospital chains in India. These uh, green spaces here provide a balance to the urban landscape, offering residents a chance to connect with nature engaging outdoor activities uh, or simply enjoy a serene environment. They also contribute to the overall quality of life in the city by promoting a healthy and sustainable living environment. So, now I am approaching the Wondage Park. It is basically a residential area with uh, of course full of greeneries and all around. And I am still searching for the entry gate. Uh, I am coming to this area for the first time. And it is, of course, a perfect place to live in a healthy environment. Yes, uh, now finally made to the Wonders Park and uh, I can see the entry gate right now. This is the entry gate of Wonders Park. This is so spacious and uh, so beautiful.
Okay, this is basically an amusement park with uh, several entertainment options, but I hardly find any people right now. Maybe because of uh, this scorching heat, people might be coming by evening. Now it is afternoon time. I can see this uh, food court over there that also empty other than few employees uh, I, I don't find anybody when I asked uh, somebody about this he said uh, some maintenance work is on uh, at some sections of this park uh, but and uh, it will be fully operational after 20th of October this month uh, today's 13th October so that is the reason and uh, still people come by evening after 5 p.m. to enjoy the evening And uh, friends, uh, this park is known for its uh, collection of replicas of the seven wonders of the world. Maybe that is why this named uh, Wonders Park possible. And uh, these replicas include uh, famous landmarks such as the Taj Mahal, and the Great Pyramid of Giza, and the Eiffel Tower, and so many others. So I'm so excited to see this right now. Now it is beginning with the Machu Picchu of Peru, South America. Wow, it is so wonderful. You get to see all the seven wonders of this world in this beautiful park located in Nerul, Mumbai. And one of my friends visited this place recently and uh, he was showing me pictures of this and it is exactly the same, nothing much different. Wow, this is the one, another one, Christ the Redeemer, located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So amazing. This uh, very famous Colosseum situated uh, in the city of Rome, Italy. This is the Colosseum of Italy. So beautiful. Now comes this uh, Chichen Itza of Mexico. Uh, Chichen Itza is located on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It is one of the most famous archaeological sites of the Maya civilization. Its significance lies in its historical and cultural importance as a major three Colombian city known for its impressive pyramid. Then comes uh, Petra Hal Hasna, often simply referred to as uh, Hal Hasna. Or the treasury is one of the most iconic and uh, well preserved structures in the ancient city of Petra. Petra is located in southern Jordan and is, it is renowned for its intricate rock architecture. Al Hasna is a magnificent temple like structure carved in the rose red cliffs of Petra. Then comes the very Indian Haron Ta Taj Mahal, it's a very famous white marble mausoleum located in Agra, India. It was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his uh, wife Mumtaz Mahal. 
Then uh, now comes the very popular and uh, famous the Great Wall of China. It's a series of fortifications made of stone, brick, earth, wood and other material that stretches across northern China. It was constructed over several centuries with the first wall dating back as early as the 7th century BC. The most famous and extensive sections of the Great Wall were built during the Ming Dynasty between 1368 and 1644 AD. And uh, apart from all this, uh, you can, like I said earlier, there are several entertainment options here that you can see. But uh, a majority of them are under maintenance. Uh, it will be completed on um, 20th October 2023 this year. Today is uh, 13th October, so I will like wait for a week uh, for the completion. Uh, this park is often visited by tourists and uh, locals alike and it is a great place for photography and uh, picnics. It is not only a recreational destination but also serves as an educational and cultural attraction, allowing people to appreciate the architectural marvels of the world in one location. Uh, there are several entertainment options uh, for everybody, but uh, I don't know the names of these things here. And uh, this I'm quite familiar with, this is the ubiquitous ferris wheel found everywhere. This is so popular, I know this. Okay, I can see one toy train over here. I think, I suppose this is also under maintenance because I can see people working on this track right now. Friends, so now I'm gonna end this video here. I'll be back next week with uh, uh, one more episode of uh, this Navi Mumbai series because there are so many interesting places in this area. But it's not possible to show you all the places. But still, I want to show you some important and interesting places next week. Till then, goodbye. Please uh, subscribe, share and like my video if you like. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.